Hey guys, it's Ormerker, and I'm checking out Star Trek today, a uh, game by Digital Extremes. Just came out on Steam, and it is supposed to be an action-slash-adventure type game. Now, I have played through the first level, which was kind of more of a tutorial type level. Uh, but be before I get into the actual gameplay, I do want to show that uh, for a PC title, it's got very limited options in terms of quality. And... Kind of feels like the game is lower resolution than it really says it is. Also, um, there's really no options to increase anti-aliasing or anything else like that, so you'll see jaggies on edges quite often. And there's some other visual oddities as well, where if I first start the game, I'll get flicker in a bunch of places unless I toggle the vertical sync on and off. And uh, right now it's fine, but um, it, it is a problem every time I load the game. But uh, let's jump in, we're going to check out a little bit of the story, and... Uh, what I can tell you is that this is a co-op game. Supports two players, one can play Kirk, one can play Spock. Uh, but so far, it's been... extremely linear. And um, on this mission, actually, I, I just crossed this bridge. You can see, I mean, it's got some decent visuals. I don't know, I don't know what the hell that thing is. Let's see if I can maybe shoot it. Damn it. Maybe not. Oh, there it comes again. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I can kill stuff. Um, you can also set your shots to either lethal or stun. So that's somewhat accurate. Now, what's weird about this is if I jump off this thing, I get zapped by, like, an energy shield and die. But there are a lot of save points. The... Oh, man, he's so close. The actors in the game are based off the movie characters uh, for the upcoming Star Trek. I do not remember their names, but this dude was Sylar. And, um... Oh, uh, what's it called? Heroes or whatever? I forget. Been so long. Save the cheerleader, that's all I remember. Alright, so, um, in this level we are investigating a colony... Uh, that has pretty much had all of these Vulcans... ...get murdered. And we're trying to figure out why. But I have not played through it, I only played up to about this part. You can see a little creature come through light. But it's not really apparent, uh, where that damn light came from. Doesn't make any real sense. And here's something. Some sort of, uh, magma guy. I'm gonna... Yes. That guy wasn't right. Get stunned, mad. buddy. I understand that our lives were at risk. But we must endeavor not to use lethal force. Agreed. We both need to use stuff. I think he's been poisoned. How is he disease deceased? I stunned him. The adrenal glands and bloodstream. All right, so holding shift brings up your tricorder, and then you can interact with things, or you can even tell Spock to go somewhere else. Tell him to get lost. Now, when you are playing single player uh, like me, Spock will just automatically follow you and do what he needs to do. So that's at least good. Oh, and it does want me to upgrade. So there is an upgrade system. Now, what I don't like is the fact that when I pulled this up uh, before. It would not let me get past this without spending some of my XP. Which I didn't want to do at the time. Uh, so now we have to switch to Spock. He's got his own XP. Oh, actually, I think we share XP, so I'm going to skip this. And let's... Go down. So this is where you'd wait for your co-op buddy. Obviously, he's going to just hop in here anyway. And let's see what's next. But as I was saying, it is extremely linear, or linear, it almost feels like an on-rails, uh, type experience. Out, remember, stun only. I would not have it any other way. Okay. So, use a phaser to infect, or to stun the infected Vulcan, then move in close and tap E. There we go. Because that's what I would want to do with a guy who's got ooze dripping down his chin, is I would want to put my arm around him. A mind meld may be our only chance to find out what Spock can mind meld some unconscious enemies to learn door codes. Alright, Spock, do it. Guess he's a tricorder. Yep. Hold Q. Are you sure you want to touch that guy? A mind meld is our only option. So if you're playing Spock, you would have to go do this. Yourself. Or your buddy would. Wait, no. That doesn't make sense. If you were playing Kirk, your buddy would have to do it, but if you're playing Spock, you would have to do it. There we go. Also, I now know the code to that door. Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. Aye, sir. Everything all right? 
Yeah, just some Vulcan problems. So, the usual. So you can see all the jaggies, at least you probably can if you look at it in 1080p, like this. The texture of this, I don't even know what the hell it is. These shades or something, I guess? Window shades? There's jaggy lines all over it, which would be easily smoothed out if the game just allowed for anti-aliasing. But the options are so limited. So we're gonna go ahead and get Captain. through here. I am detecting several Vulcans behind this door, but their readings are erratic. May I suggest setting our phasers to stun? After all, they are Vulcans. They are set to stun. Another enemy appears. Oh. oh. Let's find this Chirac guy and get the hell out of here. Am I dying? Oh, I think I almost died there. I'm really not sure how I feel about the stun mechanic using the middle mouse button. Can I jump through here? I can. Alright, and let's see, what's in here? Nothing really. Officer. Quickly. Come in. These guys have some sort of futuristic beam weapon. You can hold F to sprint. Can I do anything with this? Nope. All right, so we got to find Sirak. Osa Vensu. Spock. Sirak, I am relieved to see you unharmed. This is my commanding officer, Captain Kirk. Captain, this is Sirak. Pleasure. And Tamar? I am here, Father. Tamar, I am pleased to hear your voice. Now, what the hell is going on down there? We have been attacked. Creatures of an unknown origin. They emerged from the rip not long after it appeared. What creatures? I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's there's all this texture pop every time it switches scenes. Spock, we cannot allow the power of the Helios machine to fall into their hands. It would be catastrophic. How would they be after the machine? They could use it to create rips anywhere in the universe. They would be able to attack without warning. Where's the machine now? Further underground, in the colony's <coughs> deepest labs. I have secured all entries into the lab to prevent the device from falling into hostile hands. Tamar, are you able to provide additional assistance? I can open the fire door that leads further into the labs. After that point, I will no longer be able to assist them. Your guidance is all we ask. Then I advise caution. There are likely to be more infected Vulcans up ahead. Got it. Alright, we're back in control. Um, you can see there, one of the issues I have with the game is that it's very, very jumpy. Uh, those... Uh, scenes there, the quick camera cuts, and then you'd see the texture pop. Kind of takes you out of the immersion uh, that's going on, if you get any out of it at all. Or at all. Look at this dude, he's dancing! What the hell is he doing? <laughs> Set phasers to stun. Oh, I can't even stun him. Can we get closer? What the hell are you doing? This is the weird stuff that you will see in this game, seriously. The first mission had a decent amount of it. And I figured that maybe it was just a fluke, but nope. We got a dude who's dancing around in circles over and over and over again. I would have been dizzy by now, I'll tell you that much. Alright, so we are gonna keep moving. The hell? Okay, well, can't get to him. And as mentioned, extremely linear. You're always going down small you corridors. Be approaching a disabled door. We'll force it open. Your success is unlikely. The structure of this door is designed for containment. It may be possible to restore power using a spare power cell. I will mark the location well, that was a difficult of the power puzzle. cells on your tri We move quietly and maintain a low profile, we should avoid detection. Captain, if you must dispatch them, please be merciful. Understood. Alright, so I guess we're supposed to sneak here. I am coming for you. I cannot control it. Or we will get noticed. I am. I don't think there's anything in here. Wait, wait, wait. I saw a prompt. E for lock. Spock lock? Now, you can hack things in this, so... 
See what's in here. Stay down. Don't let them see you. What is the point of even sneaking? All right, there's nothing in here. So one thing you'll notice is there, there's very little that you can interact with. And I'm playing on normal, and this is just easy as hell. In the training mission, um, there was a sequence that was supposed to make you think that like you were in great danger. And that definitely was not the case. What's up, buddy? Can, can I smack him? Take him out before he notices? Most certainly, oh, okay. our Starfleet training has prepared us for this. Dr. McCoy, have you been able to ascertain the nature of the Vulcan's infection? There seems to be high toxin levels. Origins unknown, but we'll continue to investigate. Bones? They're breaking up. I can't hear you. It's deep underground. Lost. Okay. It appears we are now completely on our own. So you can use these to heal if you need to. Right now I'm full health. So I think we're supposed to go down these stairs. I mean, honestly, what I've been experiencing so far, the... The only real good quality that I've found is the voice acting. The voice acting is really good. Otherwise, it's just kind of... Uh, I, I'm almost tempted to say it's a mediocre experience. At best, it's average. Elite Force 2 was more of a uh, proper Star Trek game, in my opinion. Vulcan Pulse Cannon. Oh no. Wait, no! I wanted to do this non-lethal! Oh great. Alright, well you keep stunning them, I'm gonna start t oh. Jesus. Alright, so there is a cover system. We know that there's somebody right there. Or there was. Wasn't there? Yep. We'll just jump over, smack him. There's another. Just super easy overall. Not sure how I feel about the melee key. Okay. And then we just chill out here. I love how it changes my positioning. Come on! And that's the other thing that bugs me is that is it, you often get stuck when you're using the cover system, it doesn't, it like latches you to the cover. It doesn't want to let you out. So let's see how this uh, Vulcan cannon is. Oh, it's a, like a machine gun, essentially. Alright. Let's do this, Spock. The amount of infected we have encountered is alarming. There's another gun. I think I've got that one already. I'm not sure why it's telling me it's there. And here we go, another airlift. Come on, Spock. Waiting on you. Now what's weird is my game has been public all this time. And I've not had anybody uh, join yet. So I don't know if that means that nobody's buying this thing yet. Because this is a retail version. I'm, uh, this is not an early press copy. What the hell? What? This seems like I, this is a room I just left. Like, there's a guy... Unconscious here, too. Does this look identical? Except there's like a flying underwater bird? That's really weird. Now, this is definitely different. Alright. <coughs> oh, man. I, I seriously think I might be allergic to this game. Okay, um... Let me guess. I'm supposed to go here, right? Yep. Alright. Well, let me go down this ladder then. I mean, it, it's, it's, uh... It's not horrible to the point that I want to tear my eyeballs out, but... I could not see myself spending 50 bucks on this game. Let's push this. 
Now, I'm guessing the reason they went with... Oh, God, what the hell is this thing? Let me guess, quick time event? So far, it's not giving me any options. He's just breathing in my face. Very scary, man. God damn this cover system. Kirk is just like, whatever, man, that tickles. I'm just gonna lay into him. That's cool, bro. You can charge at me. Look at this, there's no danger in this game. I'm playing normal, and I'll probably never die. Alright, Spock's down. He hits me once, and it's seriously no big deal at all. Okay, I take that back. Oh, what is this? I get to, like, pull out my pistol? Alright, let's try this again. We get to enjoy his fresh breath, once again, on my face. Alright, is there any way to skip this? The textures on this guy are not all that good. Could have been much better on PC, that's for sure. Just kind of very muddy. Alright, get out of this cover system, you bozo. I do not like- I do not like how, uh, switching weapons works. Where's Spock, and why is he not killing this dude? Sir, I require medical assistance. Okay, Putz. Why are you getting yourself killed? So really, it's a simple engagement. Let me guess. Oh, you're gonna go for your stupid things again. Oh. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll just get stuck in the wall or whatever. God damn it. Alright, let's try this one more time. I was obviously way wrong about dying, but still, I don't like the fact that Spock is a frickin' idiot in this fight. Commander, I'm just gonna stand here and get myself killed. So you can sit here and watch me frickin' sit on my ass and not contribute to the fight. And this dude's super easy for like three quarters of the fight and then all of a sudden he becomes like frickin' uh, mega monster Godzilla man. And it friggin' starts you off with your phaser, I don't understand why. Ugh. Let me guess, Spock's gonna die again like a little biatch. Am I supposed to resurrect Spock? Captain, revive me! God damn you, Spock! The hell is this? Yeah, that's that's fair. Get off me! Get off me, sucker! Arena? What the hell is Arena about? Yeah, that's awesome. I just died again. It's like the developers all of a sudden jumped in the game. They're like, "Oh no, this guy might not like our game. Let's beat the hell out of him for it." And I, I mean, honestly, I do like Star Trek. I mean, I, I uh, really enjoyed Picard and Next Generation and that... Oh, what was her name? Um, crap, I forget her name. I'm thinking, oh, God, what is it? Like, I keep thinking, like, Wa Warnsworth or something. It's not that, though. That's way off. Some, uh, some woman. Alright, come on, Spock. Yeah, just shoot him through the frickin' cover. That'll work.
What? You piece of shit. Come here, Spock. Jackass. Yeah, that's what I get for frickin' trusting you. I love how they have you in this, this really tiny corridor, and he can just run through multiple layers. Jackass. Get wrecked, buddy! And look, Spock is actually staying alive for once. There we go, finally. Okay, so he's dead. Um, I guess I'll celebrate by standing inside of his body. Alright. Well, we're gonna keep moving. I'm out of ammo for this gun. And let's see, is there anything else? Nope, you'd think you could interact with that thing. Waiting on your partner. Come on, Spock. So when you gotta get decontaminated, you have to stand in the center of this thing and let it pass over you a couple times. Which is probably an excuse to try to load the next area, honestly. Captain, the Helios device. Oh, great. He's got the device. I've never seen this thing in the Star Trek universe. What is this, frickin' dinosaurs? Are dinosaurs really shooting at me right now? Dinosaurs with guns. In Star Trek the game. At least they're somewhat intelligent about seeking cover, but I mean, you can get the same experience in Gears of War. Or even Mass Effect at this point. Taking the Helios device. Ziraka. He does Ravager. not appear to be answering, Captain. Shit. We gotta get that device back. Tamar, do you know where they went? Difficult to tell, but it appears that they are taking it towards the surface. We'll never catch them. Captain, if I restore power to the turbo lift, you may be able to intercept them. Do it. What are we doing? Power has been restored. Okay. You may proceed to the turbo lift. Alright, we are at the turbo lift. My goal is to beat this mission for you guys before I wrap things up. Now I'm using this weird slime weapon that also fires slugs or something. Another thing that's weird is that even... Oh, some grenades. Alright, approach, pick them up. Okay. What's weird is that with the cinematics in the game, uh, occasionally it will just like jump you to stuff without any explanation as to like why things all of a sudden changed. Like at one point I was I was uh, at a star system and the next thing I knew you will have a difficult time oh, communicating with your crew captain when the helios device is out of its containment cell it causes a great deal of interference ah, perfect looks like it's just you and me spock that seems to be the usual course so all, I was in front of the star, and then all of a sudden I was like teleporting down to a planet a half second later and there's scripted events everywhere in this game. Alright. Alright. That weapon's not too bad. What the f- How was he able to knock me over? With his little spit crap or what? Or whatever it was? I guess so. I guess I just did that to him. Okay. Thanks for helping, Spock. You're the best. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and hack this. Oh, uh, once you know, another alien lizard dinosaur man. Hey, 
And I'm not sure, can I pick up ammo? There's some weird visual glitches. Hey, alert, sir. Spock doesn't even try to get cover, he just stands there like a boss. You continue to surprise me, Captain. I really don't even know what to say at this point. I saw one other YouTuber uh, slash streamer say that he really was enjoying the game, but... I mean, if it's given you to for free, or for free, I guess, but... Where am I seeing flicker? Oh, there we go. There's some weird-ass flickering there. I don't know if you guys can see that. When I'm looking at the room like this, it starts flickering. That's the kind of weird stuff you'll see in this game. Alright, let's try to end this thing, because honestly, I'm not having all that much fun with it. Is there anything in here? Scan this. We stand at the dawn of a new era for the Vulcan race. Thanks to Helios, we have a chance to create a new home on a planet never before inhabited. The unlimited energy provided by Helios will allow us to create a haven for our people. And yet, our resources provided by the Vulcan High Council are insufficient. Without help from another source, I fear our greatest hope may be lost before it can be born. Alright, so obviously this is a co-op situation here. I believe that water is now an electrical hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get zapped. Seems simple enough. Indeed. All right, well, maybe Sh Spock is resistant to, uh, oh wait, no. We could activate all these things. We need to find a way to cross without stepping in this water. So here's a puzzle. That room is equipped with extendable electronic space. Deploying them may provide the route you need. Um... I feel like I should have been standing on these, but this one is just really weird. Why is it this way? I am afraid not, Captain. Um I can't seem to lower it back down. Ugh, the joys of commentating when you're trying to do a puzzle. Oh, here. I knew it. I should have been standing on one of these. But now that it's lifted, I can't do jack. Oh, well, I guess that's one way. Something has happened to my father. I think the Gorn have taken Sirac. Where is he? We'll get him back. No, the Helios machine must be your top priority. Sirac would not have us save him, only to put the entire galaxy in danger. Tomorrow, what's the status of the device? They've nearly reached the surface. Damn it, we need to move faster. Right, well, I can't do anything in here. And now I'm pretty much lost. <clears throat> can't really shoot any of this crap. I didn't see anything else there to interact with, unless... I'm not supposed to hack this, am I? Why would I want to, uh, to lock that? That doesn't make sense. Alright, whatever. Let's go ahead and try again. Alright. I believe that water is now an electrical hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. Alright, this is awesome camera work here. Indeed. Oh, okay, I forgot to mention that there is a Uncharted-like jumping system. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. Kirk, Spock, something has happened to my father. I think the Gorn have taken Sirac. Where is he? We'll get him back. No, the Helios machine must be your top priority. Sirac would not have us save him, only to put the entire galaxy in danger. Tomorrow, what's the status of the device? 
They've nearly reached the surface. Damn it, we need to move faster. All right, there you go. So we got through this. That was an okay puzzle. Obviously kind of easy to figure out if I would have remembered that you can jump around like you're Nathan Drake. Supposedly there's an alternative route. I guess that's locked, unpowered. Captain, you have reached another unpowered door. Look around. Can you see any power cells? Where are we going to find another power cell? Perhaps we can retrieve a power cell from a functional socket. From what? What, from that thing? Captain, I think I see a power cell in that laboratory. Alright, let's check in here again. Maybe now I can interact with... ...something in this area. Nope. Okay, um... Let's just lock this thing then, why not? Let's see if there's anything in the middle here for me to grab. Look up. Did he say look up? See, when I record... I do play with my uh, volume very low so it doesn't come through the mic. But I think he said, look up, here. I can't seem to get through here. This is unpowered. Oh. Are you serious? Need a hand here, Spock. So it's a jump up through this thing. Look at this! Spock just appeared out of nowhere! Alright. And I think I was supposed to let him through first. I'm pretty sure, at least. Yeah, so let's actually plug this thing back in. And let's open this door. For our bro Spock. Go ahead and take this thing out. And surprise, surprise, the door is still powered after you unlock it. And what do you think we do with it? Hmm. All right. Doors open. Let's get moving. Let's do this, Spock. So hopefully we will be at the end soon. This mission's been going on for a while. It to me like it feels like it's more of a like a playable movie instead of a playable game. Like, they're trying to tell their own story from the movie, more than anything else. Okay, we got a spaceship fight, I guess. Buildings blowing up. Let me guess, I need to jump on that ramp onto the ship or something like that? You gotta be kidding me. It's a lizard man once again. Very, very Mass Effect-like here. But Mass Effect at least had much more open areas. There he goes! Let's get him! Uh... Yep, I called it. I don't even get to do the jump. It just happens on its own. Captain. And he doesn't even see that lizard coming, even though he was just looking that way. Boy, that was sure tough. And the alien falls into the ship. Oh, hey, that was awesome. Thanks. 
Oh my god, are you serious? I gotta go through this again? I, I, I mean, this really feels more like it should be like a $15 game, if anything. And even then, like, I don't know if I would be able to recommend it. I mean, if it was on like a Humble Bundle thing and you could get it for like five bucks, that would be a hell of a lot easier. Or if you're a die-hard Trekkie, maybe. There he goes. Let's get him. Or if you love the movie so much that you're willing to play something that's not all that enjoyable, just to see more of the characters, Captain. then it might be worth picking up. So here we go again. I'm sure, you're supposed to not shoot Spock. And now what? Alright, so I just shoot those dudes. Alright. Boy, now we got these lizard battleships. See, there's really no danger. These aliens are just so dumb. And now the battleship thing is supposed to go away. Although he's, what, shooting a mega beam at me or something? And... We're crashing. Uh. Okay. All right. New Vulcan Great Hall. And there's another lizard man. Did you see his head? What? Oh, my leg. What the fuck just move. happened? I'm on my way. Uh, can't walk on it. How, like, how did that alien just die in front of me? Nice aim, buddy. Mar, where is the nearest medical facility? Stop, or Spock just did the moonwalk backwards to pick me up. I don't even know what's going on. You could pick up the pace, Spock. Most accurate or inaccurate uh, phaser ever, I'll say that much. Ah. <sighs> I, I'm just so tempted to just quit out of this thing right now. You know, I, I mean, I, I do try to respect uh, developers as much as I can, but I'm personally not enjoying this all that much. How far do we have to walk when I'm Mr. Gimp Man here? With two legs that are kind of just sliding along. Am I even supposed to be up here? I can't use my tricorder. <sighs> I really hope I'm going the right way. I can't even rotate my camera all the way to the left. What the hell? Now I can. I guess I have to keep walking forward if I want to rotate my camera. What am I even doing up here? Like, I. I don't think I'm supposed to be up here now. And I swear to God, if there's nothing up here, I'm just... I'm bailing on this game. Oh my God, there's an invisible wall. Are you kidding me? 
Yep. Well, that's it. Um, I am officially ending uh, this video here. This is uh, Star Trek, guys. Again, it's a new release on Steam. Extremely hard for me to recommend. Um, you know, outside of the voice acting and maybe there's a good story here somewhere, the gameplay itself is not really all that good. It's a very glitchy title. It's not really optimized for PC. I mean, you can see all the jaggies there on the stairs. It's sad. Um, I was hoping that, uh, you know, maybe there was... So there were some more redeeming qualities here. That's why I didn't make the video right off the first impressions, but yeah So that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching as always Please be sure to like favorite comment and subscribe tell your friends about my channel I always appreciate when you guys do that and stay tuned for more videos. I will see you guys next time